Okay, this is the assignment, and here's the solution. And this is all there is to it. There's nothing more here. There's nothing more in PDF file, but, but if you want to donate, you can do that. Okay, an object is placed between the focal point of a converging lens and the twi distance twice of the focal length from the lens. So this is the object, this is the focal point, this is the twice of that distance. So this is the focal length, and twice of that is from here to here. Okay, dry, draw a row, ray diagram to determine the nature of the image and describe the image. So this is the image. And how are we drawing this here? Okay, first of all, what do you do? First of all, you make one axis. You make an axis. That should, that's supposed to be a straight line, but it's difficult for me to do that. Then, you place two points here and here. You get the circle and a little more than a half you place needle here and you open it a little more than a half and then you make one curved line with it here same thing on the other side you place needle here and then with the same opening of the circle you place curl line here. Then you write down the middle line. You place, let's say, focal point here. Let's say you place, and that, and because of that, it needs to be two times here. So focal on they are same on both sides. Let's say that. Okay. And now we have a lens, converging lens. What is the meaning of the converging lens? It, it, it means that rays that come parallel with the optic axis, this is the optic axis, this is the optic axis, rays that come parallel to the optic axis will converge to a focal point. How? Like this. They will do like this. This parallel ray coming to the This is parallel ray that coming to the lens. This parallel ray that coming to the lens. It will go to the focal point. It will go to the focal point. And this one will go to the focal point also. That is the meaning of the converging lens. Now, how do you write down, draw, how do you draw an image? So, object is placed somewhere around here. Now we have three rays to choose in order to make an image. First one is that comes from the top of the object and goes parallel to the optical axis. When it hit the lens, it will refract throughout the focal point. It is always the case. Second one will go from the top here at the cent optical center and will go just straight down. Third, if you choose, will first go throughout the first go throughout the, from the top of the object, and then through the focal point and to the lens, and then we go parallel to the optical axis. Now that's all three things should should go to the, to one point, but it is difficult to draw with a free hand. And you do not need the three rays; two is enough. So let us choose those two rays, and when they meet together you will have top of the image. So this is the image. And from picture you see what? You see that the image is real, because it, it is in cross-section of the real rays. It is inverted, it is larger than object, and it is on the other side of the lens. Ah, that's all there is to it. So, the image will be inverted, the image is dimension larger than the object. Absolute value of magnification is greater than 1. When you divide distance from here to here, with this distance, you will get a number that is larger than 1. The image is real. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing more in PDF file. But if you want to donate, you can do that. And for complete with answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. So 
Thank you and bye.